acknowledge your presence and we acknowledge your power. God, you deserve the glory and the honor. We call you Jehovah on this morning. God, you are the God Almighty. You are the God all sufficient. You are the Holy One and we say thank you. God, we enter into your presence with thanksgiving, with repentant hearts, and with praise. So as we gather today to give our Savior all praise, all glory, and honor, we ask now that your power rest in this place. Because Jesus, you are the King of kings. Jesus, you are the Lord of Lords. Jesus, you are the Messiah. Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, you hung, bled, and died, and said it is finished. And so it is. So God, we say thank you for your power. God, we thank you that your power, the same power that raised Jesus from the dead, will rest in this place. God, we thank you that your power will save in this place. We thank you that your power will heal, deliver, and set free in this place. So, God, we ask now that you touch every few, God. We ask now that you touch every heart, God. That in the name of Jesus, lives will never be the same. That children will never be the same. And, God, that your power will resurrect the dead. God, your power will resurrect dead bones in this place. God, your power will resurrect dreams in this place. And will resurrect marriages in this place.
victory belongs to him.
victory belongs to you. Victory belongs to Victory belongs to you. Victory. so many of you on this resurrection uh, morning. Uh, once again, I want to say happy resurrection, happy Easter to all of you. All of y'all look so beautiful. You look nice. You got your new outfits on. I thank God for you. All of those who are viewing and watching, we thank God for you allowing us to come into your beautiful homes. Uh, wherever you may be on this morning, we thank God for you. As always, thank God for my lovely wife, Lady Iris, my girl. I just appreciate her uh, so much. And then, of course, I thank God for this woman of God. She is our 
state representative, Miss Vanessa LaFleur. Can y'all help me thank God for her? She's our state rep. And I just, come on, I appreciate her so much. Amen. And to all of our first-time visitors, if you're sharing with Beacon Life for the very first time, would you please lift your hands right where you are? We want to recognize all of our first-time visitors. Come on, if you're sharing with Beacon Life for the very first time, thank you so much. Thank, oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. On behalf, on behalf of myself, my lovely wife, Lady Iris, and the family of like, we thank God for you. We know there's many churches you could have fellowship with today, but we believe and know that God has led you here by his spirit, and for that we are grateful. We just ask one thing and one thing only. Please don't let this be your last time sharing with us here at Beacon Light because we're the church where the spirit of God is the motivating force. Come on, family. Let's thank God for all of our first-time visitors. Now, I have to take a moment to recognize uh, this young lady. Uh, she is always on uh, Facebook Live, Wednesdays and Sundays. I have to thank God for this woman, Miss Janice, all the way from Birmingham, Alabama. She's in service with us. Miss Janice, where are you today? I saw her early. Oh, come on, y'all. All the way from Birmingham, Alabama, sharing with us on today. God bless you. Thank you so much for being with us. We just appreciate it. Uh, amen so much. We thank God for all of you. I want to take a moment, listen, to say thank you on myself, Lady Iris. Last week we celebrated, celebrated 17 years of being the pastor and the first lady of Beacon Light of Baton Rouge. We thank God for all of you. And then, of course, on next Sunday, next Sunday, Communion Sunday, as we commune together as a family on next Sunday, asking all of us to be back here next Sunday uh, as we commune together as a family. And then, of course, I thank God for one of our faithful members, Miss Melissa Williams. Uh, she has a grand opening, deeply rooted. Of course, uh, it is an all-natural skincare product. Uh, I want many of you to go and visit her on 11353 Greenwell Springs Road. Uh, this coming Saturday is the grand opening. Amen? Amen. I want all of us now, listen, to prepare our hearts and minds uh, to give unto the Lord uh, on today. Listen, listen. Let me just say this for you because I know we have a lot of moving parts. I know it's resurrection. But I want you to understand this, please. Whenever you study the Bible, study the word of God, everybody's all eyes right here, please. The Sabbath day is not about church only. I want y'all to hear me. The Sabbath day is not just church only. The Sabbath day is the day where you spend time with family and friends. When you really study the Jewish culture, when you really study it, watch this. The Bible even says that when people leave out of your presence, they're supposed to leave refreshed, ready for the next week. That's why I don't just make it a habit of just going to church on Sundays, but make it a habit of spending time with family and friends. Let me, let me say this to you. Time. When you look at time, the acronym time, time. Time should be, here it is, treasured. You got to treasure time. But I, here it is, you have to uh, treasure time. You have to also invest time. Invest. You got to invest. But then you got to manage time. But here's the one I, the one I love. You got to enjoy time. You got to enjoy it. Because once it's gone, you'll never get it back. Watch this. Can I just shout you one time? Because right now, this Sunday, what we're doing, we'll never get this time back. Can I get about 20 people that will give God praise for the right now space? Don't, I'm not thinking about tomorrow. God, I just want to say thank you for right now. God, if I, tomorrow is not promised. God, I want to say thank you right now. Can I preach it here? The Bible says that everything that has breath, praise ye the Lord. Tap your neighbor. Say, neighbor, you in a blessed place. Man, you better learn how to. The Bible says that you shall have whatsoever you. Time, time, time should be treasured, invested, managed, but most of all, it should be enjoyed. So I want all of us now, listen, to prepare our hearts and minds to give unto the Lord. Here at Beacon Life, we are a tithing church. If God has blessed you with income, if God has blessed you uh, with a job, you're truly blessed to have it. I tell people all the time, try and go in six months without it. God has been good to all of us. So many of us this morning, uh, you went in the closet and you went picked out which, well, some of y'all went to the mall. Some of y'all ordered it online. 
Now, here's the thing. Now, now all of y'all who got your new outfits on, I love it. I think it's cool. Buy your East outfit. Can I tell you what my prayer is today? I hope and pray that you did not take your tithe money to buy a new outfit. Let me tell you what my other prayer is. My other prayer is, if you took your tithe money um, to buy your outfit, when you go to brunch, I'm, I'm hoping that you spill shrimp and grits. No, I'm just, I'm joking. I'm playing. I'm joking, y'all. I'm joking. I'm joking. Listen, I'm joking. I'm really joking. So I want all of us now, all of those in the balcony, all of those on the floor, if you're in need of an offering envelope, would you please lift, lift your hand? Our hardworking deacons are in the house to assist all of us today. If you need an offering envelope, would you please lift your hands all over the building? Our hardworking deacons are in the house to assist. All of us should be given because God has been good to all of us. Some of us today chose what outfit, what shoes you wanted to wear. Some of us even went in the garage and chose what car we wanted to drive. God is good. It's amazing. Come on, y'all. God is good. And then we come to church and we tip God like he's a shoe shine boy when God been so good to us. I want every person, every person, if you don't mind, pull out your mobile devices, your iPhones, your Androids. You can do text to give, text 28950. You can cash app, Beacon Light BR. Go to our website, beaconlightofbatonrouge.org, spelled all the way out. Go to the giving key and give online. I want all of us now to participate in the worship experience, and we're worshiping God in and through our giving. If you don't mind, let me pray with you and pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all of those who are sowing and investing into the kingdom of God. My sincere prayer is, God, that none of us will ever suffer for what we're given, but in and through our giving, we shall be blessed. Because, God, the truth is, even on today, you gave us your only begotten son. So, God, we want to say thank you. And, God, I ask now that you will bless every person, every hand, every heart. Bless every home that's represented. God, I pray for the person who had to push their way today, was not even feeling up to par. I pray now, God, for that person's heart. Pray for their mind, their emotions. And God, while we're here in your house, we pray that you're at home in our house, fixing some things, moving some things around. God, we need you like never before. We ask all of these blessings in your darling son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you don't mind, would you please stand right where you are? Would you please stand right where you are? Every, every person is standing. Every person is standing. You have to be in shape to be a member of Beacon Light. You have to be in shape because we might run. We're going to shout. We're going to stand up. We're going to sit down, stand up, sit down. That's just the way it is. You got to be in shape. But look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. I'm about to say something, and I hope you don't get offended. But if you do, it's all good. I need somebody to shout, harvest, favor, increase. All three are up on me in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. Every person who has an offering envelope, I'm going to ask if you would. Come on, there's a lot of us in here today. It's fine. We all family. If you have an offering envelope, I'm going to ask if you would please come and place it here on the altar. But if you're using your mobile devices, you may be seated right where you are. Let's receive our praise team as they take us higher in the service.
do more than I can even expect or imagine. God is going to exceed my expectations. Oh, he'll do more than that. 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 Whatever you imagine, God's gonna do. God's gonna do. God's gonna do. So take the limits off. church and they see people dancing and singing and clapping and sometimes people feel like well you know they really don't take all that maybe you're not believing for what I'm believing for I'm, I'm believing 
that God going to do exceedingly, abundantly, above more. Tap your neighbor. Say, neighbor, that thing you just thought about, he going to do more than that. Because if you ain't working on nothing, I get it. But there's a few of us, we working on something. Now, if you ain't working on nothing, shame on you. But there's a few of us believing God and we're working behind the sin. And God says it's going to be bigger than... resurrection all right I'm gonna I'm gonna give about a hundred of y'all I'm gonna give a hundred of y'all about 10 seconds to give God the best praise for your more for your more go ahead and give you might as well praise him like it's make it sound like victory you might as well give God praise Say, neighbor. No, I'm sorry, you tapped the wrong. Look at that neighbor one more time. Say, neighbor, what are you expecting? Are you expecting more? Are you? Don't, don't, don't settle for average, because average is just being on top of the bottom. Average never get recognized. I gotta be above average because average don't get recognized. There's no such thing as a C on a roll. Oh, Jesus, come on. Please, please, please. Let, let, me, let me run because I want, I want y'all to hang out with family, friends. Um, I, just, I just love when I see uh, so many of y'all. We have so many special guests, but I did get to see... Um, Coach, Coach Rich Jackson and his family, I thank God for him. Amen. I did see him. Amen. So many. Uh, I did see Major, Major Burns. Major, stand up. Come on, man. LSU. Come on. Let's thank God for Major. We just appreciate Major. We love, we just watch Major grow up into a wonderful man. Amen. We thank God for him. Listen, I want to real quick move fast. Move fast so many of us can continue. Uh, the Sabbath day with family and friends. Um, people sing when we sing songs, and most people feel like it's just, ooh, that's just too much. When you've been through some of the things that we have been through, every chance I get to tell the Lord, thank you, I'm going to say thank you. Because, see, people see where you are. Okay, put it this way. They see your glory, 
but they don't know your story. You, you have no idea. You have no idea. Some of us was about to snap, crackle, and pop. Anybody besides me, God had to hold you together when everything was falling apart. God held you together. Happy resurrection for all of those who are viewing and watching, all of those in the balcony. We thank God. Listen, real quick, thank you so much, LC. Thank you. I want to, I know it's resurrection morning, but I, I want to use this for a title. Please stay with me for the next 15 minutes and I'm out of here. 15 minutes, listen. I want to preach from the subject of what were you expecting in the form of an interrogative, in the form of a question. What were you expecting? We're going to end up in John chapter 20 where this woman by the name of Mary Magdalene shows up to the tomb and Jesus' body is no longer there. What were you expecting? But because I didn't get to preach last week, I want y'all to come take a walk with me. Come take a walk with me from Palm Sunday to Resurrection Sunday. Let's just take a walk and we might pause and sit at a bench for about a minute or two, but I want you to come walk with me. Help me, Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Last Sunday to this Sunday, Palm Sunday to Resurrection Sunday. Now, please hear me. Now, I'm, I'm going to go quick. I'm going to go quick. Now, tap your neighbor. Say, neighbor, lock in. Stay focused. Because I'm going to say something that's going to bless you all week. It's going to bless you all week. Some of y'all going to post this on some of your stuff this week because the Holy Spirit going to keep reminding you. Watch this. According to Matthew chapter 21, Jesus sends two of his disciples he sends to his disciples to the adjacent city. He says, listen, go to the city. Sydney, listen, watch this. I see you locked in, Sid. I see I'm with you, Whitney. He, he, watch this. He says, there's a donkey that's tied up. He says that it has never been written. Nobody has never put nothing on the donkey's back. He says, go get the donkey and bring the donkey to me. He says, I have to do this because I have to fulfill the prophecy of Zechariah. He said, because the Bible says that the king was going to come riding in on a donkey. Here it is. Watch this. But the donkey has never been written on. Nothing has ever been placed on the donkey's back. Please come, stay with me. Watch this. Jesus gets on the back of the donkey that has never been written. But you first must understand the behavior of, of a horse or a donkey because a donkey or a horse has to go through a training because a horse or a donkey, here it is, has to be broken. You got to break them because, watch this, okay, let me come get you, because if they don't go through the training, the donkey that has never been ridden on up, nothing has been placed on it, the natural tendency of the donkey is to buck. It's to shake. It's, it's to kick. It, it's, it's, to, it's to fight. Because it has never been written on. But watch this. But Jesus gets on the back of a donkey that has never been written on. And the donkey don't buck. He don't shake. He don't kick. He don't fight. Here it is. Watch this. God says, because I can take any situation in your life that might be bucking, shaking, and fighting. He said, but when I get control of it, it's going to settle down because I'm sovereign. Don't miss it. Watch this. Here it is. Jesus, who is the king of kings, goes riding in on a donkey that has never been written before. Watch this, but the Bible says when they saw him, they began to take off the outer garments, Palm Sunday. They begin to lay down palms, but they also begin to take off their outer garments. Because the outer garments, watch this, 
was an expression of worship. Can I come get you? Watch, watch this, watch this. See, see, watch this. You can't let your wardrobe be more important than your worship. Uh, can I preach it the way I feel it? Uh, or can I preach it? You, you can't let, you can't, don't let your nice clothes stop you from giving God praise and giving God worship. Because watch this. No matter the size of your house or how nice your car is, don't let your creature comforts stop you from giving God praise. Watch this. Some people can't really worship because, okay, because of what they have on. But sometimes you, oh, can I come get you right here? You got to strip yourself of your, what you think is important. Watch this. And when you strip yourself of your importance, that's when you can begin to really worship. Can I preach it the way I feel it? Your title ain't that important. Your money not that important. I wish I had a few people that said, Pastor, I know what it feels like because it don't matter what I have. I'm going to still come to church and give God praise. Can I get about 25 people that say, Pastor, my worship is more important than anything I have because if it had not been for the Lord who has been on my side, I don't know. Here it is. Watch this. Here. Come walk. Come walk with me. He goes and he's riding on a donkey that has never been ridden on before. The donkey don't buck. The donkey don't shake. It don't kick. And it does not fight. God says, I can handle anything that's bucking in your life. Anything that's shaking in your He says, I can handle it. But here it is. Watch this. Here's the second part. Here's the second part. They begin to cut down palm branches. Get, come on. Come on. Get the picture. Watch this. Here it is. In your mind, you got to see it. It was custom and tradition in Jesus' time when a king would go out to battle. Don't miss it. He would go out to battle, he and his army. And on his way back from battle, they would lay down palm branches and outer garments as a sign of victory. As a sign, we won. Oh, I'm about to shout you one time good. Watch this, watch this. But Jesus is on his way to battle. Y'all ain't miss, y'all miss it. I, I know when y'all get him. He's on his way to battle. And they are laying down palm branches and outer garments already. Before he gets to Calvary. Before he gets to the grave. They're telling him, we have already won. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, no matter what I go through, I'm always winning. You ain't got to wait till the battle is over. You can give God a shout right now. I wish I had somebody that understands you ain't got to wait. He's already being celebrated before he gets to Calvary. Watch this. Tell your neighbor, say, all I do is win. I'm sorry, you talking to the wrong neighbor. Look at your other neighbor, say, neighbor, all I do is win. When I'm, when I'm losing, I'm still winning. When I'm down, I'm still on top. When I'm out, I'm still in. I wish I had somebody who can give God praise no matter what team I'm on. I'm still winning. They're celebrating him even before he goes to battle. Because here it is. Watch this. Don't miss it. Because they... They, would, they announced it before it even happened. <laughs> okay. I said they announced it before it happened. I only have three more. I only have three more. Look at your neighbor. Stop looking at that neighbor if they don't want to talk to you. Look at that other neighbor. Say, say neighbor, I have an announcement. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I got an announcement to make. And the announcement to make is, I have already won. Is there anybody believing God for something big? You got to understand, it is already in place. It's just a matter of time before it shows up. You might as well give God praise because I have already won. I got an announcement to make. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, all year long, I'm winning. The Bible says, and you will have whatsoever you say. 
all year long, I'm winning. I got an announcement to make. When you go by mama house, when you go to grandmother house, walk in the house and say, I got an announcement to make. All year long, I'm gonna be winning. You must have went to church, I sure did. Cause all year long, I'm gonna be. I got, I got 10 minutes, watch this, I got 10. I got 10, watch this, watch this. Now watch this. Just victory, victory belongs to me. Victory belongs. Victory belongs, watch this, here it is, watch this. So now, they get to Good Friday. They march them from Judgment Hall to Judgment Hall. Now we get, watch this, to Good Friday. Now here's the thing about Good Friday. I'm coming, oh, oh I'm going to tell y'all in a few minutes he got up. Y'all just wait, I'm coming to get you. Oh, 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 watch this. So on Good Friday, this is the day where they nail him to the cross. But when you stu study crucifixions, they did not put the nails in his hands. The nails was actually in his wrists. Because the weight of his body would have caused the nails to rip through his hand. They were so skilled at execution, watch this, that they put the nails in his wrist. They put his feet on top of each other to raise his back up so he could smother. Y'all get watch this, watch this. So now they're nailing the nails. Ooh, Jesus, I, I gotta pause right there. Lord, thank you that you did this for me. A person who don't have it all together. You gave an only begotten son because you knew I was going to need us. Because if y'all ask for one of my children, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. You ask for one of mine. We all going to be down. What y'all going to call it downstairs? We all be downstairs. I ain't, I ain't giving none of mine. God gave us. Watch this. He on the cross. Watch it. Watch it. He's on the cross. They nailed and uh, while his, the, the cross is down, I'm mourning so Jesus had a conversation. Said, now listen, y'all good with leaving me down on the ground. He said, but I got a feeling y'all about to make a mistake. Because what y'all about to do is y'all about to raise the cross up. And he probably told them, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. I wish I had a few people that while on resurrection morning, watch this, all over the world, why people go to church on resurrection is because the world is lifting up Jesus and the church is drawing all men. Can I get a few people that don't mind pausing that I'm giving God praise because he got up. They lifted him up but they didn't realize, watch this, when he got up I got up. So every time it seemed like I'm down, I'm still up. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, and still I rise. No, tell your neighbor, and still I rise. Maya Angelou said it like this, you may shoot me with your words, you may cut me with your eyes, but still I rise. Can I get somebody to give God praise? No matter how far you have me down, I'm gonna still. I'm going to still rise. Listen, listen. Come on. Come on. I, I got to go watch this. Watch this. So here it is. Son. Now, now, now that's, that's Friday. But then Sunday. Saturday, it was quiet all day. But the Bible says early. 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 Come on, you got to say it like you Baptist. Early. Put your preacher voice on. Uh, you, got, you almost got to lean with it, right? I mean, uh, just, just lean on somebody and say, early, Sunday morning, he got up, and when he got up, it reminds me, no matter what I go through, I'm still, I wish I had a proof to people who've been to hell and back, but look where you are now. Can I get somebody one more time to give God praise? Can I preach it the way I feel it? When I look back over my life and see where the Lord has brought me, I keep getting up. Every time my back is against the wall, I come out even stronger. God told me to tell you that your setback was a setup for your comeback. You are about to... Man, those... Oh, Jesus. Tap your 
your neighbor. Say, neighbor, by this time next year, I'm not going to be where I am. Keep your eyes. Keep your eyes on me. What, what, what were you expecting? You was expecting to fail? You was expecting to be defeated? No. Watch this. Here it is. Here it is. Watch this. He gets up on Sunday morning. Early. He gets up. Watch this. But, but here, come on, come on, please, please. I only got six more minutes. Now, for all of those who are in church like me, that don't have it all together, I love church. I just sometimes don't like church people. I like Christians. I like those who don't look down their nose at people. I like those who don't forget where they come from. That, that we don't have it all together and we, we try to make... Uh. Yeah, watch, watch it. Let me help that person. Because one of the things I know the enemy uses is guilt and shame. Because sometimes we, we, we operate out again and feel like, God can't bless me. God can't do it for me because of what I've done. I, I, no, God, I, I know. Let me help you. I'm about to, about to set you free. You're about to be freed. Watch this. Colossians 2, chapter 4, 14. Here's what the Bible says in Colossians uh, 2, verse 14. Here's what it says. Watch this. The Bible says, having wiped out. That, that word wipe, wiped out means a removal. To be taken away. Watch this. Having wiped out the handwriting for requirement that was against us. Tap your neighbor. Say, neighbor, that includes you too. It was against us. In other words, watch this. We were all supposed to be on our way to hell. Oh, Jesus. Watch this. Watch this. Which was a contrary to us. And he has taken it out of the way. All of your failures, all of your shortcomings, all of your sins, all of, he said, I've taken it and put it in the sea of forgiveness to never bring it up again. But here's the part I want you to see. Look what he says. Watch this. He says, and he has taken it out of the way. Having, having nailed it to the cross. In other words, God says, what you did in the past and what you will do in the future is already nailed to the cross. Can I get somebody to understand that you got to forgive yourself? You got to stop rehearsing your failures. Stop rehearsing your shortcomings because God says, I don't even know what you're talking about because it was nailed. Watch this. Watch this. And you got people have the nerve to keep bringing up my past. Oh, I'm, I'm in the business this morning. I'm standing on business this morning. I'm standing on it. Oh, it's happy resurrection. I'm standing on business this morning. Because you got to tell some people, stop bringing up the past. You so busy looking in the past that you can't even see my future. You can't even see what God is doing. Can I get about 20 people to give God praise because he's doing a new thing and I'm wrong. Oh, Jesus. Come on, here it is. I gotta go. All right, so, so, that's why. What were you expecting? Now, here's my, here's, here's my five minute sermon. John chapter 20, because I don't want nobody to say he ain't opened the Bible. John chapter 20. John chapter 20, verse 1. Here's, here's, here's what are you expecting? Now, on the first day of the week, Mary Madeline. Went to the tomb early. Why it was still dark. And saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. Verse 11. Drop down to verse 11. But Mary stood outside of the tomb. Weeping. And she, watched this. She stood and she stooped down and looked into the tomb. Verse 12. And she saw two angels in white sitting. At the head and on the other, at the feet, where the body of Jesus had lain. Past tense. Then they said to her, woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, because they have taken away my Lord. I do not know where they have laid him. Watch this. Now, 
when she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus. She saw him. Jesus standing there and did not know it was Jesus. Sometimes our emotions will cause us not to see. Sometimes you got to keep your feelings in check. I teach my children, you don't let everything in life break you down. Because it will cause you to lose your focus. Watch this. Go back. Go back. Here it is, Cole. Watch this. Look, here it is. And watch this. And there it is. And Jesus did not know that, and she, said, she did not know it was Jesus. Verse 15. Jesus said to her, woman, why are you weeping? Who are you seeking? She, supposing him to be the gardener, said to him, sir, here's the part. If you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him. I will take him away. Can we pause? Can, I know we're walking. Let's sit on this bench for, one th for 30 seconds. Mary was trying to do what all of us do. She was trying to take it, watch this, and she was trying to fix it herself. How many of us, it's Mr. and Mrs. Fix It in our family? Oh, no, come on. Why everybody call you? Because you are Mr. and Mrs. Fix It. But can I preach it the way I feel it? I believe we're in a season, come on y'all, that some of us say, Pastor, I didn't try to fix some stuff and messed it up. But I'm in a season where I'm going to let God do his work. Can I get a few people that's believing and trusting God that I got to get my hands off of it and let God do what God has to do? Now here it is, watch this. Now watch this, I, I, can't, I can't even get to it. But, but here it is, here it is. Watch. Mary, Mary is one of the first people. And here, here's the conversation. That she's having with Jesus after the resurrection. Mary responds, here it is, to the resurrection is not like ours. The morning, that morning she responds, watch this, see, with, with weeping. But on this morning for us, we, we respond with excitement. But the Bible says that Mary was weeping, here it is. And Jesus told her, don't miss it. Jesus says, listen y'all, in three days... I'm going to get up. He told him in three days. Don't miss it. Watch this. But what was Mary expecting? Jesus told her in three days, I'm going to get up. She shows up at the tomb looking for Jesus. Wrong expectation. Ooh, can I say it right here? You in a season where you got to raise your level of expectation. And you got to let people around you know, I used to think like that, but I'm raising my expectation because I'm expecting God to do big. I'm expecting God to do more. But watch this. Here it is. Here it is. Watch this. Here it is. Now, if the body was there, then Mary had a right to weep because the body was there. But why? Here it is. Don't miss it. Mary is singing tragedy opposed to victory. Mary is singing tragedy opposed to victory. Okay, okay. Y'all going to make me work. Y'all going to make me work. Okay. Sometimes, here it is, number one. Sometimes. Our weeping is meaningless. Sometimes our weeping is meaningless. What you mean? Remember when you lost that job and you ain't know what you was going to do? Okay, some of y'all, remember they walked out and said they didn't want to be with you no more and you thought your heart was broken and you thought you didn't Watch this. Sometimes our tears are meaningless. That God says, I let it happen because I was setting you up for your next stop. I wish I had a few people that understand that you can't keep crying over everything. You got to be able to see God in your next. Oh, I just said something. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, you have to see God in your next. Stop crying over stuff that don't matter. 
stop crying over him or her. That really don't matter. Some of our stuff is meaningless. Watch this. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. This is where I'm going. She's weeping over that which is victorious. But here it is. Watch this. Mary is, being, is, is basing everything based upon what she sees. Not what she heard. And I think some of us have forgotten what he said. We walk by faith and not by sight. Okay, let me put it. You forgot he said no weapon formed against you would prosper. He did not say the weapon wouldn't be formed. He just said it wasn't going to prosper. Okay, y'all didn't get that one. He said he'll prepare a table in the presence of of my enemies. Okay, y'all didn't get that. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than mine. You got to untie. Watch this. You can't forget what he said. Here it is. I'm gone. Watch this. If you're not listening to his voice, you'll miss him. Here it is. What, 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 what were you expecting? Here's the, here's, 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 put this on. Tweet this. Put this on. Put this on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all that other stuff y'all got. Put, here it is. God will only meet, meet us at our level of expectation. God will only meet us at our level of expectation. If you ain't expecting nothing, that's cool. But there's, there, there, there's about 300 of us. Tap your neighbor, say, this is my last time. Tap your neighbor, say, neighbor, I'm expecting God to do just what he's saying. And every promise that he made me is going to come to pass. I wish I had a church on this resurrection morning that I'm raising my level of expectation. What were you expecting? Failure? What were you expecting? Defeat? No, I'm expecting victory. I'm expecting to be above and only. I'm expecting to be the lender, not the borrower. You got to ex raise your level. Everyone is standing. Raise your level. Here it is. God will only meet us at our level of expectation. That's why I listen. It used to bother me. Balcony, balcony, please listen. It used to bother me when people would come to church. And I'm preaching my heart out. Somebody just sitting there, dozing off, going to sleep. I was like, oh Lord, I must not be doing good. Then God told me, said, no, it's not that. They, they just don't expect what you expect. Because see, sometimes when you're having a serious conversation, I'm not falling asleep. I'm paying attention. Because this is my life. God will only meet you, watch this, at your level of expectation. You don't want nothing. Okay. Coach, give me Mark chapter 11, verse 23. We're all going home. This is the Bible. Mark 11, verse 23 is one of my favorite verses of Scripture. Bible says, watch this, for surely I say to you, oh Lord, the devil don't want y'all to see it. The devil, I bind that, no, no. Lord, what y'all did up there, balcony? Balcony, boy, there it is, oh no. I'll tell you what it says. Now, don't, hey, don't let it hurt your eyes. Coach, let it go. Don't worry about it. Y'all got to take my word. He said, for surely I say to you, whoever says, to this mountain says to this mountain be removed and be cast into the sea and he, don't, if he does not doubt in his heart here's the point if he or she believes he or she will have whatever he or she says says that's why listen you gotta stop expecting negative and defeat stop saying you got to stop saying you broke. Look at your neighbor. This, I'm borrowing this one for next Sunday. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, I will never have another broke day 
in my life. I didn't say you wouldn't have no challenges, but I'll never have another. Okay. You better walk through your house and say, I'll never have another broke day in my life. My bills are paid. My credit is getting better. You better learn how to open your mouth because the Bible says that you will have whatsoever you. Let's go, let's go home, let's go home. I want you to enjoy the Sabbath day. But before you head, before you go with family and friends and have a good time drinking mimosas, I mean, you, you know, that's why I don't like dealing with y'all because y'all act too holy. Y'all be like, huh? He said that. Be the main one. Main one in there. Walk in the door. Yeah. I'm in the church today. I got great expectations. Hook me up. Pull me one. Then come to church. He said that? Yeah, I said it. I wish I could follow you by Grandma House. I wish I could follow you by your A.T. House. So, anyway, listen. Before we head for the exit doors, one of the most important things in life is when you meet someone for the first time and you never really knew that you and that person have a great relationship when you first somebody invited you somewhere and you met somebody you were somewhere and you never knew that moment that God was setting you up to have somebody in your life to help I ain't talking about that I'm talking about the right one there's no greater thing than an invitation before you head for the exit door, before you continue to enjoy the Sabbath day, there may be someone today. Please hear me. Your greatest deliverance is when you get delivered from people. Let me say it one more time because the people in the back in the balcony didn't hear me. Your greatest deliverance is when you get delivered from people. I could care less about what you think or say about me because you don't have a heaven or hell to put me in. Too many of us are still marching at the beat of somebody else's drum. If you need to accept the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior, if you're a backslider, if you're looking for a church home, listen, you can't mess up enough for God to stop loving you. Other people may stop loving you. God will never stop loving you. Never. No matter what you've done. If you need to accept the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior, if it's a backslider, I want you to come real quick. I want to pray with you and pray for you. If you need to accept the Lord Jesus, if you die tonight, you don't know where you will spend eternity. This is a good day. Thank you, honey. I see you coming. If you saying, Pastor, I used to go to church. I need to get back. I, you know what, Pastor? This was good for me. I need to get back. I'm going to ask all of those in the balcony if y'all if y'all could hold up a second. If y'all if, if now if you come into the altar, come on. But if you you headed for the exit door, hold on one second, please. Because let me let me show y'all. Watch this. See, the Holy Spirit is like a dove. Any little wrong, sudden move is gone. Because watch this. Somebody's life is in the balance. Somebody can leave out of here, God, please, God forbid. And be in a car as they were in churches, but they were looking around to see who was leaving. And missed the altar call. If you need to accept the Lord Jesus, this is the most important time of the service. If you need to accept the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior, you're backsliding, you're looking for a church home, I want you to come real quick, 30 seconds, then I'll let you all be dismissed. Come real quick. I see you, honey. Come. I see you. Can you clap like this is your sister? I see you, honey. Come on. Like this is your brother. Can, come, oh, no. Come on. Now watch this. Now watch this. Now watch this. I need those 30 people. I need those 30 people that's in here because your greatest deliverance is when you get delivered from people. I need those 32 people that's supposed to be up here. This is only going to take one minute, but it'll change your life forever. Come real quick. You, if you're nervous on the inside, said, I really want to go. Well, come. I see you, honey. That's one. Right, that's two. 
That's three. I, 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 watch this. They're about to be exceedingly, abundantly. I see you coming, honey. I see you coming, sir. I see you coming, man. Can y'all just clap and encourage them? Come on, somebody right now. Somebody needs your encouragement. But if you just clap for them, if you just applaud for them, would you just support them? I see you, honey. Come. I see you coming, honey. I see you, man, coming from the back. Where are you today? Come real quick. All we gonna do is pray with you and pray for you. Where you? Come real quick. Come. Just come. Don't let nothing stop you. Just keep showing up. Don't let nothing stop you. Just keep showing up. Today might be your... Oh, you're coming from the balcony. I see you. I see you. Come. Come. Twin. Ten more. I see you. Ten more seconds. Ten more seconds. Ten more seconds. Heaven or hell. Blessings or curses. Choose ye this day. I'm never ashamed of my relationship with God. Man, can somebody make us? Can look at these young people. Can somebody give God? I, I see you. You got. I thought y'all was gonna make it sound like victory. All of these young people giving their lives. Come a little bit closer. Come a little bit closer. Tell you why let me tell you why I'm saying come a little closer don't miss this get this in the spirit get this in the spirit this is the season to make room no I said y'all missed it I said this is the season to make room this is the season to make room what you making room for I'm making room for more coming. I see you, sir. I see you, ma'am. Come. I see you. Season. Make room. Make room. I said, come on, honey. You got time. We, we, we good. We good. We good. We got time. Man, look at this. All right, I got to go. I, I'm going to let y'all go. But I need seven. Seven is the number of completion. Because now when we get to seven, that it's done. Because some of y'all is about to walk out saying, ooh, he wasn't talking to me. God says, yes, I am. I'm going to call you by name. God says, here I come. God says, I'm talking to you. I need those other seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. sometimes I don't act saved don't mean that I'm not saved. It's not about a feeling. It's about knowing I am saved. So listen, I want to pray with you. Come on. You was about to come. Come on. Come on, get in on this prayer before you leave. I don't know what they were just saying. Come on. I don't, I don't know. Just come on. Get in real quick because I'm about to pray. Get in real quick. Where you at? So, that, come on, honey. Get in real quick. Come on, get in real quick. Come on, get in real quick. Where are you today? Come in, get in real quick. Come on, Wick, get in. Get in on this. Come on. Let's go. Get in on this. Get in on this. You will never forget this day the rest of your life. It was that day. It was that day. I want to pray with you and pray for you. Let us pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for all of these who have come. And God, for whatever reason, you already know. 
God, I thank you now for the person who is allowing this church to become their church because, God, this is not my church. God, this is your church. And, God, we thank you for them. God, thank you for the backslider. Put the ring back up on their finger, the robe back up on their back. Kill the fatty calf. Let everybody know your son, your daughter, they're back home. But that one who's accepting you as Lord and Savior for the very first time, what must I do to be saved? The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. I want to lead all of you now in this prayer of repentance and the body of Christ is going to be in agreement with us. Repeat this after me if you would. Dear Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I come now asking that you would forgive me of all of my sins. Come into my heart, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. I promise to serve you the rest of my days and I believe and I know that I am saved, I am saved, I am saved. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Now listen, listen, I need to do one more thing. I need to do one more thing. All of those who are here who've actually come to be members, I'm going to need you to stay here for one minute. I just need to get some help. We're going to have a QR code that's going to pop up. All I need is just going to, so you can get a membership number. We're going to make it easy. Now, for the rest of those, um, you may return back to your seats, but hold up one second. I'm going to pray. And if somebody who's up here at this altar came with you, don't leave them. Tell my girl, you was taking too long. No, stay, be patient. Amen. How many of you were truly blessed and encouraged? Come on, what were you expecting? Raise your level of expectation. I'm not looking for defeat. I'm looking for victory. Amen. I want to pray with you. Enjoy the resurrection. Enjoy your Sabbath day with family and friends. I'm going to ask if y'all would just stay here for me one more second. Now listen, some of y'all got family. Some of y'all left y'all purse back there around people you don't know. I don't know all these people in here. You, who, you with somebody? You with Michelle? Oh, Lord. Look like she's going in your purse right now. Oh, that's her purse. <laughs> I thought you was in that lady purse. No, I'm just, I'm just here. Come on, let's, 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 let's do this. I want to pray with y'all and pray for you and let y'all go home. And I need to hold y'all. Actually, let me do this. How many of y'all actually come be members? Raise your hand real, real high. If you come to be members, raise your hand. Thank you. I need 30 seconds. The rest of y'all may return back to your seats. Return back to your seats. Now, the rest of y'all stay here with me for 30 seconds. Those who are actually becoming members. God bless you. I see. It's, yeah, I see there. What you got? Stay right here with me for 30 seconds. Where's Crystal Ezef? Crystal Ezef, come. She's the director of our new members, her and her husband, Ryan Ezef. Thank you all so much. Listen, let me pray with you and pray for you. Let me pray with you and pray for you. Let your head for the exit doors. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for what our ears have heard, our hearts have felt, and our eyes have seen. Father, I pray now on this resurrection 2024 that this week, God, that you're going to remind us to raise our level of expectation. That God, we cannot forget what you said. Father, I pray now that all day long, all week long, that God, we understand that you're moving, you have more for us. That we're in a season of make room. So Father, we honor you, we bless you. Now God, as we leave this place, but never from your presence, allow your God and angels to watch over us, protect us, and keep us. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Go in peace, beacon light. Now listen.